Yo, greetings user, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube. And in this video, I just wanna get you started, show you a couple things. If you are an end user Power BI or you're new to Power BI just from a consumption perspective, I got a couple things for you. Let's do this. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, Power BI for consumers. What is what is Power BI? I've got a video talking about what is Power BI. You can go check that out. But in this video, I, I really wanna focus in on those folks that are just starting with Power BI. They're not creating reports. You're not in this thing called Power BI desktop. You don't even know what that's about. You just wanna get to the data and get your way around Power BI and figure out how to use it. This video is for you. So first thing I wanna talk about is this concept of apps and workspaces and how do you actually get to those reports? Chances are you may have either been given maybe a URL or you saw an email because someone shared a report with you or you went to an internal portal and there's just a link to a report where you can go look at those things. Those will take you to the actual report and that report will sit in one of two places. These are key concepts inside of Power BI. One is an app and the other is an actual workspace. Think of an app as just a container or content that you can easily get to from a read-only perspective. So this is really meant for broad consumption of Power BI reports. If you're a small organization, that report may just take you directly to a workspace itself. So from an apps perspective, the way you get to apps when you first go to app.powerbi.com, on the left navigation, you are going to see an apps area. You can click on that. You will see apps that are listed there. You can favorite an app. You can add a new app and the app will then show up in that area. These could be apps that are created internally in your organization, as well as apps that third parties have provided. So for example, there's a COVID app that is out there to help you track related data around COVID. That's just a public app. From a workspace perspective, you could have a lot of workspaces. Typically when you land inside of Power BI, you're in your what's called my workspace. That's kind of like your local sandbox. You can do whatever there. But for production apps and production reports, typically those are going to be inside of what's called an app workspace. And there's a workspace flyout where you you can go navigate those workspaces, select the one you're interested in, and then you will see the content with inside of that workspace. And you can filter it down, adjust, you know, reports and dashboards, or you can look at every piece of content with inside of that workspace and use that content that you have access to. You will only see items that you have access to. So if you're expecting to see something and you don't, you may need to go back to the person that shared that out with you and just let them know, look, I need access to this report or dashboard or app. All right, let's talk about dashboards and reports. These are two different concepts inside of Power BI. The reason I'm, I mention that is because typically when I talk to customers of Power BI, they'll use the term dashboard, but they really mean a report from a Power BI perspective. That's okay. Usually I know what they're talking about, but there is an actual dashboard concept in Power BI. And this is kind of a, just a quick glance of data that's inside of Power BI. It could contain elements from different reports that are reflected in this overall dashboard. Think of the dashboard as just a snapshot. It's not necessarily as interactive as reports are, but they are available. And then reports themselves, this is the interactive content. This is where you can slice and dice your data and explore the data and learn more and answer the questions that you're trying to answer. From a report perspective, we've got that Power BI report. That is that interactive report. There's also a concept of a paginated report, which is more of the traditional look. I want a, a page of reports and I want to print that out, right? So pixel perfect reporting that you're used to with, you know, 300 page report that you want to print out for whatever reason that's available as well. So I mentioned before that someone may have sent you a link to a report or they share you, maybe you got an email that someone shared a report. If you know that there is content that was shared with you, but you don't remember where it is, or you don't have that link, you can go to the shared with me area on that left navigation. And that's where all of it will be. So you can navigate that and find the content that someone potentially shared with you. A couple other areas I want to call out here. So we've got recent favorites and then the search bar, which is up top. Recents are just that. This is pieces of content that you've recently gone to that you may want to return to. Maybe like, hey, what did I look at last week? You can go there and discover that content and easily get back to it. Favorites, 
obviously are items that you favorited. You can favorite apps, you can favorite reports or dashboards. That's where you will go find your favorite content. Honestly, I probably go there the most when I'm looking for items just because I know what I've got there. And that helps me quickly weed through a lot of the content that I have available for me when I'm trying to do my regular job. And then the search bar, which is on the very top bar over on the right hand side, this allows you just to search globally with inside of Power BI. So maybe it's a workspace, maybe it's a app, maybe it's a report. You can just search and find that content that you have access to. The last thing I want to call out here is Microsoft Teams. If you're using Teams within your organization and also you know that you have to use Power BI, be sure to look at the actual Power BI app that's inside of Teams. This is something where you can actually use Power BI in the context of Teams so you don't have to leave it. And you can pin that app to that left bar so that you can quickly get access to Power BI. So if you live in Teams like I do, this is something where you can just use Power BI right where you are inside of Teams and it's the best of both worlds. So be sure to check that out if you haven't looked at it yet. And if you're curious about how to use Teams inside of Power BI, check out the video that I did a little bit ago where I walk through what you can do with Teams inside of Power BI or with Power BI. All right, I wanna hand this over to you. Are you new to Power BI? Did this help you kind of understand the concepts? Also leave hashtag new in the comments if you are completely new to Power BI and you just watch this video to try and get to understand it. I would love to hear that. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.